beginning to all of you my dear students please stay home stay safe and take care of your parents during this lockdown period you'd like to learn about the poem the night of the scorpio this poem was written by nisan ajikil nisan ajikil took birth on 14 december 1934 and he was blasted on 9 january 2000 Mr. Meskel was an Indian Jewish poet. He was a foundational figure in post-colonial India's literary history, specifically for Indian writing in English. In 1996, I remember many of my friends used to appreciate him mr meskel was head of the department of english in mumbai university and luckily i got a chance to study in that university where professor kandar swam professor nilofar bharucha professor yashmin lukmani professor vrindanava dr vilash saran dr bhongle they were the professors at the time when i studied in that university and i was told about at the time this much when i came and joined the prep public service commission sri pravir bhamit associate professor of research and vidya sagar college also told me that he had studied in the same university so today we'll be learning about the personality who was head of the department of english in mumbai university from 1961 to 1972 he headed the english department of mithila bai college mumbai he was awarded the shahit academy award in 1983 for his poetry collection Letter Day Sarks by the Shahid Academy, India's National Academy of Letters. Early life, Azikil was born on 14 December 1924 in Mumbai, Maharashtra. His father, Moses Azikil, was a professor of botany at Milton College, and his mother was principal of her own school. The Ezekiels belongs to Mumbai's Jewish community known as the Bene Israel. In 1947, Ezekiel earned a BA in literature from Wilson College, Mumbai University of Mumbai. In 1947 to 48, he taught English literature and published literary articles. After dabbling in radical politics for a while. Shelled to Uganda in November 1948, he studied philosophy at Birkbeck College after three and a half years' stay. Nisim Ajkil worked his way home as a deck scrubber, a broad, a sick, carrying 
carrying arms to indo china knight of the scorpion i remember the night my mother was stung by a scorpion i remember the night my mother was stung by a scorpion then hours of steady rain and driven him to crawl beneath the sack of rice parting with his poison flash of diabolic tail in the dark room he risked the rain again the peasants came like swarms the peasants came like swarms of flies and burst the name of god a hundred times to paralyze the evil one with candles and with lanterns throwing giant scorpion shadows on the mud big walls they searched for him he was not found they clicked their tongues with every moment that scorpion made his poison moved in the mother's blood they said they said may he sit still they said may the sins of your previous birth be burned away tonight they said may your suffering decrease the misfortunes of your next birth they said May the sum of all evil be balanced in this unreal world against the sum of good become diminished by your pain may the poison purify your flesh of desire and your spirit of ambition they said and they sat around on the floor with my mother in the center on the floor with my mother in center the peace of understanding on each face more candles more lanterns more neighbors more insects and the endless rain my mother twisted through and through groaning on a mat my father my father scapted rationalist trying every curse and blessing powder mixture herb and hybrid he even poured a little paraffin upon the bitten toy and put a match to it i watched the flame finding on my mother i watched the flame fading on my mother i watched the flame fading on my mother i watched the holy man perform his rites to tame the poison of an incantation after 20 hours after 20 hours it lost its sting my mother my mother only said thank god the scorpion picked on me and spared my children my mother only said thank god the scorpion picked on me and spared my children so my dear students the lesson we learn from this poem is that we must respect our mother the one who has sown us this world we could see this beautiful creation of god because of our mother this musical is saying and writing stating that the last line माँ तो कितनी अच्छी है तो कितनी भोली है प्यारी प्यारी है माँ ओ माँ ही सेंग द माँ तो कितनी अच्छी है तो कितनी भोली है प्यारी प्यारी है माँ ओ माँ दिस पोयम इनकल्केट्स human values of the students this poem tells them to respect their parents and also understand the father who is a rationalist and a skeptic what we find in this poem 
all the people, all the people sat around the mother in the center while she continued to groan and twist with pain on the mat. The narrator's father, who was normally a rationalist, a logical person, and a practical personality, he also gave into the superstitious belief of the villages and joined them in the cursing and praying, then putting a mixture of powders and herbs on her toy, a little paraffin on the bitten toy, and lit it with a match. But imagine, when the father was taking a matchstick and putting a paraffin oil on the toy of the mother and burning it, to tame the poison, to minimize the poison. But this child is innocent. He doesn't know. He's remembering and thinking that my father is putting the paraffin and burning the toy. I means he's trying to kill my mother. But he was a right person. He was trying to do something good for the betterment of the mother, of the poet's mother. But instead, he was understood differently. Then putting a mixture of powders and the herbs on her toy, a little paraffin on the bitten toy, and he lit it with a match, hoping to burn the poison away. The poet Nisimaj Kilsa, his mother's toy, on fire and must have felt afraid. A holy man, the priest, performed some rites to probably tame the poison. But only after 20 hours did the poison subside and the mother was relieved of the pain. And then she thanked God, the scorpion bit me and spared my children. The poem thus brings out the mother's love and sacrificial thoughts, the maternal instinct as well as beautifully describes the superstitions and ignorant practices followed by the villagers. We have seen in our Tirpra, when a cat passes away, everybody stops there. And they don't think that the vehicle may be running, uh, the vehicle which is running from the behind may be faster than them. But sudden break may kill them. And this incident happened once in Ishwar Chandra Vidya Sagar College when a boy of almost 19 to 20 years old purchased a new bike and, and one of the girl, his classmate was sitting behind him and the cat passed across the way. Meantime, a truck came and smashed so this poem also trying to say that don't believe in superstitions. The superstitions will not give you anything. Karam kiye ja bande, fal ki ichha mat kare insaan, jaise karam karega bande, vaise fal dega bhagwan. This poem teaches us, don't believe only in love. Karman ne vadhi karas te ma faleshu kadachana, karam ke dhikar mein hi sab kuch hai. Jaise karam karega bande, vaise pal dega bhagwan. After 20 hours, did the poison subside and mother was relieved of the pain. And thank God that the scorpion bitten her and spared her children. The poem thus brings out the mother's love and sacrificial thoughts. The maternal instinct as well as beautifully describes the superstitions and ignorant practices followed by the villagers. The title of the poem thus is very deceptive as it does not focus on the scorpion at all. But what we find? The knight of the scorpion, as if the scorpion is the hero. So my dear friends, Night of the Scorpion is a poem that can be understood at two levels. One, 
the poet describes how on a rainy day the narrator's mother was bitten by a scorpion and what were the chain reactions to it at another level this poem depicts the indian ethos superstitions and cultured richness through a simple incident and epitomizes the typical indian motherhood which depicts sacrifice and affection the narrator remembers the night when the scorpion had bitten his mother the heavy rain had driven the scorpion to crawl under a sack of rice and unexpectedly had bitten his mother's tongue flashing its devilish tail and parting with its poison the peasants or the villagers came into their hut like swarms of flies to sympathize with the family the neighbors buzzed the name of god hoping to paralyze the scorpion as they believed that if the scorpion moved the poison would spread they searched for the scorpion with candles and lanterns they clicked their tongues that the mother's sufferings may decrease the misfortunes of her next birth they also prayed that some of evil may be balanced in this unreal world against the sum of good that she had done they prayed that the poison would purify her of her desires and ambitions the word in meaning the night of the scorpion that means scorpion seems to be the protagonist of the poem the night symbol of darkness when time and atmosphere is favorable for evil forces snake scorpion centipede and even evil spirits they come out like rat bat and other evil spirits they come out in the night the scorpion agent of evil and suffering candles and lanterns symbolizes light which dispels darkness and drives away evil and the world the world subject to decay, decay and death and is bound by time endless rain symbolizes continuous irritations and inconvenience for the family because the poet is saying more lanterns more candles more insects now what is the theme of the poem the poem deals with psychology during critical times even you all know that corona call is going on during this covid 19 we are staying since long in within our house we are not able to come out and go and enjoy as we used to do it and interact even our teaching learning process is also stopped because of community spread of this virus but my dear students as we know that we have we must know about the poem what is the introduction of the poem what is the theme of the poem and we have to recite the poem then we have to see what are the literary devices in the poem and we must know certain critical ap- appreciations or critical comments of the poem so now we'll be interacting about the theme of the poem the poem night of the scorpion which is written by nisim ajkel deals with psychology during critical times it is a comment on human beings where i approach to crisis the dealing with the crisis depends upon the background thinking beliefs and mental makeup apart from this the poem also deals with the simple peasant's attitude towards human suffering it brings out the chastening effect of suffering and shows how a philosophical approach towards it helps one 
undergo pain with sense of equanimity. So my dear students, at a fundamental level, the poet's message is that time is the best healer. He also portrays the different attitudes of religious persons and skeptics, rationalists, logical personalities, and how neither seem to work at times of crisis. The kindness of his mother, for the kindness of his mother, for wanting her children to be spared, as opposed to her own self, too, is a portrayal of maternal love as imagined by the poet. Remember, you may not be knowing even, when you were a child, when you took birth and you used to urinate in your own cloth, your mother used to sleep on those bad clothes and give you the dirt, means you, the uh, dry clothes to you and enable you to sleep on them. Your pains and sufferings are your mother's sufferings. Even today, they have the same. If you are suffering, your mother is suffering more than you. The kindness of mother for wanting her children to be spared as opposed to her own self to is a portrayal of maternal love. Ma ke pyar ki tulna nahi ki tasa. Ma se bada dunia mein koi nahi. Ma bache ko no mehine te garb mein rakhti hai. Uska karj koi utar nahi sakta. Ma ka karj, ma ke dood ka karj koi nahi utar sakta. The kindness of Nisi Meskel's mother for wanting her children to be spared as opposed to her own self to the portrayal of maternal love as imagined by the poet. You think of your childhood days. Now you may be sometimes against your parents because you are grown up. You think, yes, you, you, you have taken birth of this extent only. But when you think of your childhood, when you were infant, when you have started going to school, when you have become the senior and started studying in 11th and 12th, and now you have come to the college, feel the difference. Your emotions now and the emotions when you used to hold your mother's finger and walk to the schools. A lot of difference. So this poem teaches you Love, affection, gratitude, dedication, devotion, and sympathy, empathy. The kindness of his mother for wanting her children to be spared as opposed to own self to is a portrayal of maternal love as imagined by the poet. Also, the unlikely villain, a frightened scorpion, is portrayal of how ignorance on the part of the villagers at all leads to fear and thus to hostility. So my dear, Ma, Sabada Kohinata, Mother loves you a lot. Mother is your best friend. She cannot cheat you. Ma Tirpreshwari cannot cheat you. Ma Druga cannot cheat you. Mahalakshmi, Mahakali, Mahasaraswati cannot cheat you. And your own mother who has given you birth can never cheat you. So always respect your mother. Poetic devices. Imagery. Do you find the figures of speech or the peasants came like swarms of flies. The word like says, similarly, figure of speech has been used over here. 
we find the imagery with candles and with lanterns, throwing giant scorpion shadows on the mud baked walls. They searched for him. He was not found. They clicked their tongues with every moment that the scorpion made his poison move in mother's blood. They said, We find smell imagery. Smell of candles, smell of burning oil in the lanterns, as well as the burning of flash, flame feeding on my mother. May he still sit, they said. My father's skeptic rationalist, trying every curse and blessings, powder, mixture, herb and hybrid. He even poured a little paraffin upon the bitten toy and put a match to it. So we have image of burning. Tactile experience. Scorpion biting the mother. I remember the night my mother was stung by a scorpion. Father pouring paraffin on the toy, internal sensation, fear, pain, anxiety, concern, relief, and so, so many sound imagery. Buzz the name of God a hundred times. They clicked their tongues. So this is sound imagery we find here. Metaphors and simile figures of speech have been used. The patients came like swarms of flies. That's simile. Patients have been compared to swarms of flies. The use of simile adds on to the beauty of this poem. The diabolic tale, tale has been described as diabolic. The poet has metaphors like diabolic to make his speech have more impact on readers and making it more interesting. Making it more. In this poem, we can say that even spiritual thought is also brought of desire and of your state of ambition. They said, the peace of understanding. We find line 32 and 33 from a repetitive pattern in which Ezekiel remembers the arrival of more candles, more lanterns, more neighbors, more insects as the rain continued to fall. In line 34, he makes the first direct reference to his mother's suffering, telling us that she twisted through and through and she was groaning in pain. He then turns to the reactions of his father, not a religious man, but skeptic, rationalist, logical person. On the occasion, however, the man resorted to every curse and pleasure, accompanied by various herbal can concoctions, such was the desperation. Nisim describes in detail that his father actually set alight the toy that had been bitten. It must have had a profound effect on the poet as a child. It describes how I watched the flame feeding on my mother. I watched the flame feeding on my mother, personifying the flame as perhaps a beast trying to devour his poor mother. Personification figures of speech has been used. The flame as perhaps a beast trying to devour his poor mother. So, personification figures. So, my dear students, there may be so many questions on this poem. For how many hours that night it was raining heavily? 
answer is 10 hours. After how many hours mother comes to consciousness? Answer is 20 hours. Who is the protagonist of the poem? Scorpion. Who came with more candles and more lanterns? The peasants. Who said, may he sit still? May he, may the sins of your previous birth be burned away tonight? The villagers or the peasants? Who put a paraffin oil on the toy of mother and lit it? The father of the poet. Was father a skeptic rationalist or a superstitious person? He was a skeptic rationalist and logical person. What was told by mother at last? Thank God, the scorpion picked on me and scared my children. So my dear students, I would like to say that the poet is talking about the Indian summers or winter season, rainy season or after the summer, the rain comes. And scorpion haunting his poetic mind and imagery with mother lying unconscious as 4A by. I would say that this poem is very good and the fact is that mom said, thank God the scorpion picked on me and spared my children. It is a heart-touched poem that shows the true feeling of mother towards her children or her child, the poet in his image. Very inspiring and excellent poem. If you read it at least three to four times, I'm sure this poem will develop certain social, moral, cultural, and human values among you. Thank you.